Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 494. My name is Ajay Parmar and I welcome all of you again in this one of the fantastic series uh, which we have started recently on the Access VBA, right? So this is the channel youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Parmar. If you're watching this video for the first time or if you recently that with my channel just wanted to let you know that these 494 videos are divided into now four categories uh, actually five categories because recently we started the web designing as well html uh, but as on date you would uh, see uh, the maximum number of videos on advanced excel basic excel and uh, so that covers your excel and then excel vba then ms access front end and then the ms access vba right so today i am going to talk about the user forms in access and we are going to see this from the access vba perspective so i'm going to talk about the events guys what are the events 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 basically they are called the self triggered macros macros which do not require you to click anywhere they just run themselves on meeting certain criteria which as as a developer you you know set it up in the vba right so let's go and start this and as usual i'm just going to take your couple of seconds to let you know that on this channel these are all the playlists on excel vba excel access frontend access vba and on web designing html which you can watch and this is the basically the sequence you are supposed to follow because i do get uh, comments emails every time the, uh, you know that uh, because we have so many videos on this channel so if somebody wants to learn uh, any anything out of these all the topics covered you know how basically to begin with so these are all the see you know you should follow the sequence and if you if you don't know what are the playlist guys this is the playlist when you go to my channel this is where you need to click and you'll find here 47 playlist you can see here access vba web designing again access vba on the arrays access vba introduction tutorial excel offset function excel vba events so if you want to get more information on the excel vba also what are the events you can go and check that out right so let's go and start today's topic which is access forms and we are going to discuss that how to basically make the on load event right so i'm just going to open my access uh, the database so let's go and let me open my database guys so what we are supposed to do is first of all i will create the form for you let me click on the enable event now let's go to the create and here i'm going to design a form okay i click on the form design and uh, obviously i'm not here to talk about the how to uh, you know create the forms from the tables uh, you 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 can see all that on my uh, under the playlist called uh, access user forms uh, uh, i think it's uh, access forms yeah access forms is that series the playlist where you can go and see that you know if you really want to be an expert in the forms right now our focus is only to learn the events what are the events so let's say i create a form and in this uh, form i just create a one you know let's say a label and one text box i'm going to i'm going to create here so this is my guys text box and this is my event and if i just go and click on the view this is how the form looks like where i can write anything Thing, right well that's fine what I want to do is I want simply want to close this form and we're going to name this as let's say form one I'm not going to change the name of the form let me keep the form like this right now whenever you double click you know this form gets opened right now what we are talk going to talk about is that how to use the on load event right so guys basically on load event is a is it it's an event whenever whenever your form loads in the memory that is the point this on load event is going to be fired automatically now when i say load in the memory it means before it even comes in front of you as you know in the form of that pop up it first goes in the memory so uh, that is the first basically 
you know uh, the the you you can see that it's basically the first step where the form is getting loaded in the memory and that point in time what do you want to do that you can write here right so first of all let us go and find out uh, where we're going to write this so guys you go to the view and you click on the design view now you have the layout view you have the data sheet view you have the form view right now i'm on the form view form view means the where you will not see any program right what the user has programmed as a, as a user i'm not going to see anything to me it looks like a proper form right so i will go to the design because i want to program it now what you need to do is this is your form and go to the property sheet now when you go to the property sheet guys make sure this should be on the form right because you will find here all the different different controls like i if i click on the label 2 do you see that this label 2 is selected because this is also one of the controls which we have you know uh, built inside this form so these are all the controls which are going to be available if i click on the text one do you see that text one is selected now if i just go and program anything here you, let's say i choose on click on click means then that means that if i'm going to click anything or uh, you know if i'm going to click on this text box then what do you want to do right but we don't want to do that right so my focus is going to be on the form load event right so what you need to do is you need to make sure that you should be on the form event on this form property sheet so once i have that activated i'm going to simply write here on load these are all the guys you can see here these are all the events as I, I'm, I, I'm again repeating what are the events events means these are all the basically predefined conditions if you want to do on click after update i'm going to talk about all these one by one in this series right but today in this video i'm going to talk about the on load which is very simple so we just go and click here you just click on this ellipsis button right i just click here and then we go to the code builder you don't have to go to the macro builder you don't have to go to the expression builder i will go to the code builder now what is the difference macro builder basically if i click on the macro builder let me click on that let me share this information also with you you can record the macro here right these are all the pre-built macros right uh, if you don't have any idea about the access macros uh, access macros they don't need the vba like in excel when we record the macros when we create the macros you know you have to have a good understanding of excel vba language but in this case they are already predefined it's more of a like you know if you are an excel user then like in the pivot we drag and drop the thing so same with they have predefined all these you know the macros you just need to select them and then you can fill out the information so i just close this because this is something we don't need it again i go to the go on load and if you go to the expression builder see what's going to happen if i click here okay then this is going to take you to, to the expression builder now here you can write any query you can write any sql syntax also like from for example you want to open some table you want to you know close something you want to activate some another form or maybe report or macro you know you can also create those sort of things from here which is not the agenda of this video right but i just wanted to give you the information guys so i go and click on the code builder now if i click here it's going to take me to my one of the favorite windows which is the vba window right so now here we're going to say that you see that it's by default selected as form load right now i want to tell you one more thing it's not that you can only just build these you know the different different conditions in this form load event right there are so many events make sure this drop down should have your form because this is going to show all the rest of the controls as well you know that we have the text box right so the text box is also going to be shown there so make sure you have a form here and from this right side these are all the events can you see that there are so many events guys fantastic events day right so well we will talk about this in the coming videos and uh, first let's talk about the load event so let's say i simply write here a message box guys right let's say i am going to open the form for you right i'm going to open the form let's say i just write here one simple syntax right just a message box now if I just close this and if I just, you know, close the form one, do you want to save the changes? Yes, I want to save the changes. You save the changes, right? Now, guys, what is the load form? Whenever you double click here, obviously the form is going to be loaded as I was telling you, right? So, see this. 
before the form comes in front of you you will have this message box and you just click here ok and the form gets open so this is called the load event right now I know that I have given you very simple very basic example and I know that it's it's not so fruitful uh, I my video will not do the justice if I just end up here and saying that this is the load event I, I think I should give you some good example also but I just wanted to you know give you the understanding that this is called the load event now what else you can do well you can do a lot of things guys for example if you just want that when you open this form besides this form when it is getting open other forms should also get open immediately or maybe any table can you know get open well that's all up to you how, how what basically you want to do so let's say I create another form for example I'm just going to create a form or maybe I can create a table as well that's all up to you well I just uh, let's say create the form here I go to the design view and this time let's say I create uh, let's say this is my form I draw this the frame control right I'm really not going to write anything here let's just close this let's say this is the another form you have created and I just name it as form 2 only right so you have the form 2 which is this form and you have the form 1 which is this form right which is saying I'm going to open the form now let's go back to the form 1 I go to the design view and in the design view now what I will do you see that this is in the property sheet I have this form so I go to this event procedure again and here what I will do instead of this message box maybe let's say let's not comment this out uh, let's keep this as it is and now I want to open the second form as well so what are you going to do you you can use the dcmt command do command right do cmd open my form which form well you have to you know tell the form name so here I'm going to write the form name which is form 2 and make sure guys you should put the double quotes as well right you want to open it in the design form you want to open it pivot chart pivot table or normal whatever it is uh, you just keep this option by default I mean it's going to take this normal so don't write anything here right so if I just write here for example if I just go and write here uh, let's say the design form let's say I, I choose here the design form I close this I close the form one I save this and now I'm just going to click here I'm going to open the form and you see that if I go to the form 2 this is what you get to see now the form 2 is already open and look at this guys it's actually open in the design view right the design view is preferred for the developers not for the users right so this is something I really would like to avoid it but I just wanted to inform you so let me go to the visual basic and alt f11 I just pressed and this is the another method you can use so this should not be a design view this should look as this should open as a proper form so I just go and close this and now I'm going to save the changes here again and then I just go and double click here alright so there we go and you see that the form 2 is open let me click here and look at this guys this is the form which is open in it you know the normal form so this is how guys you can program a lot of things here you can run the macros also you can open the tables also you can also do sort of these things that the moment this form gets loaded you can run the macro which can you know open the excel files which can import the data from those excel files in the access table I mean you can do blah blah things right and anyways I have already talked about these you know the macros there are some very wonderful uh, access macros which, which you can go and and check in this playlist called access macros right go there and watch all these videos and this is the access forms dashboard right I am just going to send out the link you must be seeing right now on the screen these you know the links on the access so you can if you want to be you know an expert in the access you can go and watch that so I hope you enjoyed this uh, the video I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk about more form events so till then guys you take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.